Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juanita. If you're new here and if you're returning, you already know what it is. Welcome back. It's been a long time since I've done a hair video, but without further ado, let's get into it. Today I'm showing you guys how I do my wash days. They pr haven't really changed too much. My hair has grown a lot, so there's a little adjustments that I've made because of that, but nothing too serious. You already know I've been using Dr. Bronner's for years now. I usually use a peppermint scent, but I've been really enjoying the almond scent, so I've been just using that one. I tried citrus, but I wasn't too much of a fan. So I like to wash my hair in a way that keeps me from getting too many tangles just to make my detangling later on way easier. I like to work everything down, focusing mostly on my scalp because that's what needs to be cleaned the most, and then working everything else through my hair finger raking it like I would conditioner just to you know keep my hair from getting too many knots we're gonna go right in with my Aussie conditioner usually I use Aussie moist but I tried Aussie curls just to switch it up I do want to try a new hair conditioner altogether I don't want to try like Pantene or Tresemme or Garnier like no I need a level up so one thing I stopped doing in the shower is using a detangling brush not for any specific reason other than it makes a mess because my hair sheds a lot so as i'm brushing all the hair is falling and it's going down my drain it's getting everywhere so to save myself the trouble i just finger detangle and then do the rest of my detangling with the brush outside of the shower unless my hair is like super tangled and the best way for me to detangle it would be in the shower so now that i'm all washed and conditioned let's get right into the wash and go portion showing you my products miel organics you know love this leave-in it's my favorite i don't use really any other leave-in haven't found anything i like more and also i'm going to be using this softy hair grease that i got at the dollar store i find that my hair really holds moisture better when i'm using an oil in my styling process so i decided to start using grease and so far the results with my hairstyles have been good so i decided to use it in this wash and go and then we already know we're going with the tried and true eco styler gel today this is my go-to gel it's cheap it gives me a lot of product and it always does what i needed to do but i do have gels that i favor more when it comes to wash and goes than eco styler gel so after applying the leave-in conditioner i'm just sectioning off my hair and from here on out besides mixing my gel with grease and adding grease into my wash and go. Everything's the same when it comes to application and the product, which is Eco Styler Gel. I forgot to add grease in this clip before putting the gel on, so I do that now. So everything else is pretty repetitive. I'm just going section by section, adding my product, detangling, and defining my curls. The biggest thing for me when I'm doing a wash and go is making sure my hair is detangled just because it helps the style last longer. Also making sure my hair is moisturized. That's also kind of why I decided to start incorporating grease into my wash and goes because I find that my hair holds on to moisture way more when I have oil in my styling process than when I don't. Like my braid outs, when I do my braid outs, all I have to use is grease and my leave-in and my hair comes out so good and it lasts a good amount of time. And that's all because of moisture so moisture and detangling and just you know using the right products for your hair although I'm not gonna lie the grease and the gel were mixing weird in the beginning of this video but later on I mixed the gel and the grease together and it applied a little better but you'll see that later on in one of the clips now i'm just finishing up i didn't take the smallest sections with this wash and go it was a quick wash and go this video was more focused on the wash day versus the wash and go that's why the products were mostly the same i didn't try anything new or really get into detail about how i did my wash and go because it's mostly focused on the wash day but i thought i'd do a wash and go and try it with grease because i haven't done a wash and go in so long so why not and this is where i was talking about i was mixing the gel with the grease instead of applying one before the other because i felt like the products married together better 
And yeah, I didn't take, yeah, I kind of rushed through this wash and go, but the results are still bomb, so stay tuned. put my robe on because I was cold I was gonna wait for my hair to air dry but like I don't feel like waiting with wet hair and whatever so I just put my new blow dryer together I got this at Target I think it was like $40 really cheap I've been obsessed with sparkling water lately like I don't know what it is when I was younger like don't ever give me seltzer like I thought it was the most disgusting thing ever and now I'm like hooked on it it definitely is true that taste buds change as you get older because even dark chocolate, like, I love dark chocolate. Back in the day when I was a kid, yeah, hated it. I'm going to just speed through myself diffusing my hair. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Um, I decided to use grease in my hair. I don't like how it was mixing too much. I don't know. So when I mixed, I started mixing the gel and the grease, as you could see in the video earlier, I probably mentioned it in the voiceover. Yeah, that seemed to like help it apply better on my hair, but as for like applying grease first and then the gel mixed with the conditioner, I don't know if it really liked the mix too much. I need to get more Miel Organics, um, like that oil I used to use all the time. I haven't seen it in stores, but the next time I see it, I need to grab it because that stuff was magic, especially for my hair. Okay. I'm done to chatting. Is it dry? My hair is basically 95% dry. This is a little wet. This is a little damp. But like, it's mostly dry. I don't know if I want to stretch it or not because I kind of like how it looks. But I do want to like show the length more. I don't know, but it looks cute like this. Mm, don't know what to do. I haven't done wash and go in so long. Like, I probably did one or two over the summer. Okay, maybe I should diffuse it a little more. Okay, it's mostly dry now. The oil, the grease, definitely made it hold on to moisture more. So there's like little damp spots, but for the most part, it's dry it feels really soft i didn't have too much of a gel cast because of the grease but i still got good definition and shine i like probably gonna stretch it a little bit oh yeah i'm happy i stretched it and yeah i'm happy i used grease it got bigger. I like the definition, the shine. It doesn't feel crunchy at all. It's fluffy. But wow, I really like these results. They came out really good. I'm just laying my edges really quick, even though they're covered. It's just a habit. So this is what it looks like after it's washed, diffused, my wash and goes, like I said, plenty of times that like it doesn't really change much. I might switch up a product or two. This time I used grease. I'm not mad at it. I can't wait to see how it looks in a puff. Like, wow, that is cute. Maybe that will be my next video. An updated puff routine or something.